<sighs> Good afternoon, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It's Tuesday, May 4th, and I'm tired, but it's the fifth Tuesday of Easter, and it's also the feast day of St. Florian, who was that, that was a Roman soldier um, in the late 3rd or early 4th century, uh, who was around, whoa, is that true? Was he over 100 years old? Let me double check. No, lied. I wrote it wrong. Typo. Um, he was born in the year 250 and died in the year 304. But he was persecuted uh, because he was a Roman soldier who refused to persecute Christians because he didn't see that they were doing anything wrong. Um, so he did not um, attack and uh, persecute Christians and uh, pretty much um, destroy them and make them live a life of suffering. And since he refused to do that, he himself was called to suffer. Uh, he was going to get burned at the stake uh, for refusing to listen to his commander. And then they eventually, through his comments and back talk, it, it appeared, it seemed like to me from what I read, and then he, rather than burning him like he asked, he ended up was, uh, they drowned him. They tied something around his neck and made him go down to the bottom where he drowned and died there. So, um, but yeah, he's the patron saint of northern Austria and Poland, and he is also the patron saint of firefighters, chimney sweeps, and brewers. Today's gospel is from John chapter 14. Verses 27 through 31. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace I leave you with. I leave with you, and my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now that I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe, I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. All right, pretty short, um, but pretty intense and pretty troublesome and also reveals a lot in these verses today. Um, and the peace that he is talking about is the, the gift of salvation um, and the gift of eternal peace, you know, life to be with God the Father in heaven for eternity someday, because that's why Jesus came, was to defeat the evil one who kind of took over the world in a sense due to the fall of Adam and Eve. And knowing uh, our human weakness you can, you know, from the beginning of time, of our humanity, you can see how history continues, and you saw, you see how evil humans are inclined, and what evil humans are inclined towards um, every single day, um, due to concupiscence, and um, yeah, so Jesus is talking about how the world, it literally cannot give you peace. Um, I mean, we can try, and a lot of people do try, through means that are not peace-giving, um, where we oftentimes go towards pleasure and uh, worldly material possessions and desires and everything else. And uh, you, know, you see the amount of brokenness in the world that people just you know, keep trying to find something else to substitute and find and find and search for that peace. And then you see the world in which it is now as what it always has been. Um, even in St. Florian's time, during the late 3rd century, um, whenever Christianity was still pretty young. Um, but, you know, it says Jesus here, um, you know, we need to rejoice that Jesus is going to leave us, because that means that we're going to be saved, um, and that we'll have that opportunity of our free choice and will um, to, to be with Christ someday in heaven, if... Um, if we choose to do so, if we choose to live our lives and, and choose to believe. Um, 
because it says that the later on, you know, it's good that he's coming and it's good that he's telling us this before it actually happens. And by it, he means his death and uh, crucifixion on the cross. And, and as well as the resurrection, this way we're aware of it. Um, and then otherwise he's not going to speak anymore because the ruler of the world is coming. And by that, in this context, he is talking about Satan as the ruler of the world. And all this, because it's a constant spiritual battle. Um, and you can see that, you know, as I already mentioned, um, just the, the spiritual battle between goodness and evil um, and the world of which we live and how some people um, just don't really know what good is um, for this, that, or whatever reason it might be. But um, we're all, we all have a, a desire to know what good is. Um, but that's why God came. And gave us his son to help. And that's why he gave us the commandments out of love. And he gave us the scriptures. And he gave us the church. And he gave us all this other stuff. So that we know what the good is in a world that is just going the way that it is. Um, so, um, yeah. It's our job to, to love the Father. And to love God. And to follow his commandments. And to know that amongst the spiritual battle. Um, we can have hope and faith and trust in God for what he did for us by sending us his son um, to suffer and die for us because that was the will of Jesus. So our challenge is to do we cling to that or do we fall? How often do we fall into the temptations of the world that give us a, you know, a short amount of pleasure possibly, but um, not long term. So how are we finding that long term peace and freedom inside of our hearts that we so desperately desire and yearn for. Have a great day. God bless. And may the fourth be with you. The Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.